When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Yo, BJ Godore here, and this is the best new exercise, pizza plate holds. Now we can do these as carries or farmer's walks, the amazing core exercise, awesome for improving gait and walking and running mechanics, also excellent for squats and lunges. And what happens here, when you hold a weight plate or even a dumbbell like a pizza, instantly you increase core activation, the weight's away from the midline of your body. You also are isometrically frying your elbow flexor, so it's actually a nice, easy on the elbow way to blow up the biceps. And most importantly, everybody wants to improve posture and get better at every other single exercise, thoracic extensors. Thoracic extensors, I can't even say it, but I know it's important. Get right here. Most people are like this, they have very poor strength in the thoracic extensor that pulls you back and locks you in. And by holding the weight right here, you will get one of the best upper mid back workouts, period. It will boost your bench, get you better at pull-ups and give you more stability on squats and deadlifts. I'm gonna show a bunch of different options here. At the end too, I have a bonus biceps workout. And before I specialized in fitness, Uncle Baby BJ specialized in pizza. I used to win pizza eating contests in college, all right? And uh, I had thunder thighs before they were popular, all right? I grew up overweight and I still eat pizza. You know, most Fridays I like to get down with it. Now I'm almost 39. I recommend more of the thin crust option. All right, if you're over 30, thin crust more often than not. Not just because there's less crust, there's more protein every slice. Protein fills you up. If there's one macronutrient to overeat, it's protein because it actually costs more than twice as much energy to digest than fatter carbohydrates, all right? And you won't be as uh, guilty the next day. The final tip, don't make this mistake. I recently, you know what, I hadn't had Little Caesars in a long time. So I said, Naomi, you know what, I saw this new stuffed crust pepperoni pizza. Let's get it. Cheap meal, delicious, but uh, rookie mistake <laughs> by, uh, you know, it might be my age, maybe it's my age. Maybe I'm finally just the guy that has to be more thin crust. But there is one whole slice of pizza just in the crust. That I didn't put into my calculation. So I ended up having five to six slices, but it's about 10 to 12 total slices. And I made the mistake of having Chipotle earlier in the day. So I went too hard the next morning, neck up. I looked like I was 260, like back in the day, Michelin Man, 4th of July, parade float style. And luckily I live in the desert because I was able to walk it off in about an hour and sweat out all that. I don't know what it was. My wife looked at me and uh, was like, oh wow. And I said, <laughs> she's filming by the way. And I said, Naomi, I'm not sure if, if we're gonna be able to film next week. But uh, luckily I was able to bounce back. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I have a bonus biceps workout at the end. Enjoy this one, much like crushed red pepper. Variety is the spice of life. Give it a shot. It might look silly, but trust me when you do this, and especially when you do this uphill, uphill walk, which is what I did originally coming up with this exercise on a weekend getaway in Idlewild. I had my wife load up the groceries on a, a big pizza box. We're gonna walk up and eat that pizza. I loaded it up here, walked up, and I had an amazing upper body pump. I got core work in, and you get that incline walk going, full body exercise. So again, use your mind, get out of your comfort zone, and above all else, don't let anyone in this life, I don't care who they are, steal your joy. Much love.
Ah, c'est pris.